here's day two. I don't know if you can see it. Right on the edges you're starting to get some salt accumulation. Here's day four. We had two days of cooler temperatures, cloudy. So mostly what we got is just a lot of dust and bugs and tree pieces put into the water that I've constantly had to dig out. But if you see in the corner, if it shows up, there's kind of some slimy sludge and there's some white salt showing up on the edges here. So it's morning of day five, I believe. I'm getting bored and frustrated. Not bored. I'm getting frustrated with this process. I'm leaving in a day. This isn't going to be done. As you can see, there's some accumulation of slimy stuff on the edges there. So I'm going to take what's left and put it on the stove. This one I dropped this morning. So before I spill more, it's going on the stove. And see what we're going to get today. So I just started like scraping off the edges to get all the salt and whatever is built off the edges. Check this out. It is starting to eat holes through this aluminum. Not the only one, but continue on. Interesting. So this is what I'm left with. Very milky, dirty, not so appetizing looking bowl of water. I'm going to see if I can find something to filter it out with. Here's the filtering. Dirty, cloudy water filled with bugs and tree bits being filtered. Still. See, I got floaters. Sprung a leak, leak through the filter somehow. Oh well. Definitely got some salt. Having fun stacking up the salt. It's like little mini snowmen. Still got some moisture in there. It's not loose salt yet. Look at that. I made sea salt. We're really starting to shift. Some crystals are starting to get less and less moisture in them. Here it is. It's no longer clumpy like brown sugar. It falls right off the spoon and like salt should. So it is official. I made sea salt. I think I have about a cup and a half here. I'm excited. Now the question is, what do I do with it?